So this is an invasive smartweed, an annual. It goes by a bunch of different names. The scientific name is Persicaria longicita. The longicita refers to, and it's hard to see here, I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but it's got bristles um, that come out at the nodes, and these bristles are the long seta, the long hairs that they talk about. Also called bristled smartweed. Um, it's called Asian oriental lady stum because of the early leaves have these marks on them, like a lady's print that disappears. Water pepper, Asiatic water pepper, bristled knotweed, uh, tufted knotweed, Asiatic smartweed, uh, bristly uh, lady stum, all sorts of different names. But the bottom line, it's an annual, and, and again, it's, I, I hope that you can. I don't know if you can see the bristles that, that, uh, that give it its name. Very common. Uh, it is an annual, but it was introduced a long time ago, 1910, I think, up in the Philadelphia area. And it spread via railroads and other areas. It really likes wet, moist places, and is considered invasive in multiple states. This is it in flower. Uh, the flowers are, you know, semi-attractive, and it can tolerate mostly moist conditions, but it can take a little bit of dry, especially if it's in the shade or so forth. can't take shade. So a nasty invasive, despite its good looks, and unfortunately does spread like crazy. This is the bristled smartweed, uh, Persicaria longicita, a nasty invasive plant. I'll try to zoom in, but I'm not sure if you'll be able to, if you can actually see the, the bristles or not, uh, based on this. So again, uh, just an invasive uh, that you can get control about. Remember, it's an annual, so it has to reseed every year, but it reseeds profusely. But if you really constantly go at it, you can remove, uh, try to, you, you can get control of this uh, plant eventually. Bristled smartweed.